God bless you everybody. We are happy to have you once more. Amen. We do appreciate you. What we do here, we do it to bless you. Amen. And so, as we get into this topic, it is on forgiveness. Forgiveness. Do you forgive your brother when he sin against you? Or do you forgive your sister when she sin against you? Sinning against you literally mean doing you wrong, doing you something wrong. Something wrong that you did not expect. You did not expect this person to, to do this thing. Amen. But they, 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 they did it anyway. Amen. But the scripture that we want to look at really is Luke 23 and verse 34. Amen. While Jesus was on the cross, they were um, piercing him and um, just mocking him saying that he should call to his father which is in heaven to deliver him from the cross from the the the, um, the grip or the pain of the cross they wanted to see god come and take him down but jesus did not come to give glory to, to mankind he came to do the will of his father who sent him right and when they were mocking him and jeering him and piercing him and nailing him to the cross and whipping him, amen, and doing him all manner of evil deeds, he looked up to heaven and he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They don't know what they're doing. So forgive them. There's a lesson in this for us as believers. Oftentimes, we have some people in our lives who treat us like, you know, we are nobody. They treat us like they are better than us. But the truth is nobody is better than you and you should know that by this. Amen. They will treat you like you don't exist. Amen. This is sad though because we need to understand that every one of us were created in the image of God, in his likeness and in his image. Amen. He did not create anybody better than anybody one songwriter said that a man is just a man so i believe that when people do us wrong and when people treat us in a particular way that is not biblical not not right we ought to forgive them we are not to take it upon ourselves to have them up in our hearts but we need to forgive and forget amen we can forgive and still holding on to the grudge we must forget about it because if we don't forget it the pain will linger and the pain the painful um the painful the, 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 the painful um feeling that comes with holding on to grudges and holding on to regrets and hurts those pains are devastating i can tell you because i remember in my life many times i, I held on to grudges and i held on to pain and anger things that people have done to me you know in the past and um, I, I I did not did not want to let them go because when I look back and see how I was wasn't in the wrong right I was not wrong I was I did not do anything wrong but people just saw me and, and just don't like me and you know started treating me unfairly amen but at the end of the day <clears throat> We all have to give account for our sin. And if the Bible said that we should love one another, then I can't be the person to show you hatred. I can't be the person to show you grudge. Amen. I should be the person to show you love, especially when you are a child of God. Amen. So I want to encourage you to forgive, forgive them when they do you wrong. The pain is excruciating, the hurt is devastating, amen, and it seems hard to get out of the rut and the pit that you might find yourself in. Sometimes you wonder, how am I going to forgive this brother? Or, I can never pardon this sister. But when, when those thoughts come, and they will come, I want to encourage you to look back in the scriptures. In Matthew 23 and verse 34 when Jesus was on the cross he was at the point of death and the words that came out of his mouth were father forgive them for they know not what they do they don't know what they're doing they don't even know who I am they don't know 
So I'm begging you, God, to forgive them. Remember these words. When you feel like you, 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 you are not the one that is wrong, you're not the one who should apologize or should, you know, be talking back to that person first. When you feel like this person don't deserve my love or this person don't deserve me as a friend. Sometimes God put us in some people's lives so that we might be the ones who God used to turn that person. Amen. The love that we will show people, the love that we will bestow upon them when they are showing us hatred and 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 um envy and and you know just fighting against us with everything they have coming at us full force and yet we are still showing them love god works in those situations and he touches people's hearts he touches people's lives he blesses people through our devotion to him but we can't be hateful we can't be envious we can't grudge and you know treat people like they treat us we have to treat people like how god said we ought to treat people so let us practice to forgive people even when they are not sorry for what they have done to us amen we can't um compel them to stop doing the bad things that they do to us amen but we can show them love and if we keep showing them love then one day i'm telling you they are going to turn for not for the worse but for the better amen god is present help in times of trouble and if you seek him when you are in the midst of your situations when you are in the midst of the enemy amen he will turn it around for your good so forgive them let them know that you don't hate them you're not holding them in your heart you are a child of god and you are not here to please them but you are here to please god so you're not doing this because you want to please them you want to please god and you want god to work through you so that their souls too can be saved because at the end of the day they have a soul as as terrible as they might be as violent and hateful and evil as your enemies might be they have a soul to be saved and as a believer in the lord you must consider the soul amen and treat them with love show them love amen jesus was on the cross and he still loved them he, he he wasn't looking at the physical aspect he was looking at the spiritual side of the thing and he showed them love even in his pain even at the point of death amen even when he was about to give up the ghost he was still saying forgive them father for they know not what they do amen so seek to follow god's example by forgiving your brother and forgiving your sister and allowing god to bless them through you amen through your ministry god bless you thank you for watching and if you have not yet done so we're asking you to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and continue to give god praise because he alone is worthy amen